Yo, what is going on, guys? Holy shit, I didn't talk until just now. <laughs> this is a yikes. Okay. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Susser here, bringing you guys a video here today. Um, yes, I am super, super freaking sick. I've been in the bed for like the past three days. Um, fortunately though, I had a pretty cool idea to actually show this video off today. Um, simply because I know it wouldn't, it wouldn't put me in such a weird position and like a super big heading to create something different for you guys this week. Um, but today is more or less something like showing off this really cool website. By the way, this is not sponsored like that. Um, I was actually introduced and shown to this like a couple months ago. I forgot to do a video on it, and then someone reminded me and said, "Hey, so you should do, you should do a video on this on Twitter." And I was like, "Holy crap! I already know about that. And thank you for reminding me, kind of thing." Uh, you might know who you are if you don't. I you definitely know who you are. I forgot your name though. Sorry. Um, but this is basically a cool little free alternative to Photoshop. It's called Photo P. I believe is how you would say it, right? Like Photo P. Um, it's a very you can see like the UI itself is very very heavily. And as this is me, of course, playing around with it. Um, this is the UI is very very heavily influenced of course through Photoshop itself um, as you can see the the whole you know taskbar all the all the effects and stuff it's very 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 familiar and similar so the reason why I personally wanted to show it on today's video here today just simply because um, for a lot of you guys I know a lot of you guys don't like to crack things in the sense of like you know getting Photoshop illegal and whatnot um, I don't know why I did this. It's definitely illegal. Um, but who do I don't have like maybe uh, maybe don't have like enough enough money for? It, excuse me. Um, if the twenty two dollars a month is like expensive to you, or and or you want to do like usual annual fees, that's expensive to you. Um, this is a very very dope way of just kind of getting uh, Photoshop, and you'll still be able to almost like I would say like eighty percent of my tutorials that I have to do within Photoshop, you can probably do them within this right here. So this is me playing around with it a little bit. Um, there's a lot more simple, like, there's something, like, there's, like, very, very little things that are gonna be like, oh, crap, this is not in here anymore, um, but it's okay kind of thing. Uh, so let me just quickly just go ahead and show you guys. By the way, I think the coolest thing about this, by the way, is, uh, you can, of course, save as PNG, uh, PSD, you can open up PNGs, um, uh, excuse me, open up PSDs. So if I want to go to file, open really quick. Let me go over here really quick, right, and go to this PC. Where's my desktop? Excuse me, desktop. And I'll open up the starting soon template that I had, PSD, open this up. So this is the PSD, it's loading as you can see, and then it opens up the PSD. So basically this is the, one of the PSDs I gave away for my uh, tune like video. Um, so as you can see, it's very, very cool. It's very dope, it's very handy. And I would tell you guys, this you can use this on, of course, you know, uh, how do you say, Mac, uh, Windows, even if you wanted to use it on links, you can, because it's a web browser. It's very, very cool, very dope, and it's just very handy. And I feel like, um, oh, I also did try on my mobile device. I, I had it on my little X here. I don't know, if, I, I switched from Samsung. I'm sorry for all you guys. Um, but it's very, very dope as well because you can still do stuff on your mobile, dev uh, mobile device as well. Even though it's not very heavily for the mobile, um, it's just still very cool. And I just believe it's just one of those cool little things that you should definitely just know about because it's just one of those things that if you guys, like I said before, if you don't want to crack Photoshop and or just use anything illegally, which is obviously perfectly fine if that's how you kind of choose to do it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you can. I just feel like this is one of those things that people just need to know if they don't know it kind of thing. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, so yeah, I don't know how else I'm going to really explain today's video here today. It's just more like I just really wanted to show you guys this because it's actually really, really super freaking cool. Um, I guess in a way I can do that. I can just redo this really quickly. Um, uh, but I'm personally going to really quickly as well, uh, end this little super long intro piece, uh, uh, piece right here so I can actually turn off my camera. Um, because I can just, I can just feel my, my, my like cheeks, bro. I'm like swollen. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna quickly just, you know, go off and just kind of like redo this little banner thing I did. Maybe just so you guys get a little, uh, have a little more fun with it and show you guys just simply how it really, really closely works towards, um, Photoshop itself. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video here today. And, uh, I'm sorry I have to bear my voice today. And if this is the first time you watching me, yikes, I, I'm sorry. All right. I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of recreate kind of simply is, is from the top of my head, basically what I had previously. It's also not because I freaking closed down the web, um, the, the browser and totally forgot that it's not in Photoshop and totally didn't save it. Um, it's just because I want to do it over again. Um, before I go ahead and get this thing going, though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely suggest that you guys should go into full screen mode if you're going to use this program itself, the little web app and stuff like that. Once again, I want to make it completely clear. There's no backdoor or any kind of sponsorships 
at all. And I want to make sure that's completely clear to you guys because, I don't know, I just feel like it's going to be one of those things like, why are you doing this? I personally feel like the reason why I'm showing you guys this first off is just because, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's just one of those people who want to stay very, very loyal to like the whole not using crack photoshops and whatnot, or not using like something like have, have to use something like GIF or GIMP, sorry, I don't know, what, whatever any other program you ha might want to do something on. Um, it, how do I mean that? It's just kind of like you want to use a completely different program where if you're like following a Photoshop, uh, a Photoshop tour, like for instance, my videos, you're going to be like, dude, like I can't find this certain thing. This right here, from what I can see personally, the UI itself is so crystal, almost identical to Photoshop itself, where I feel like it's not going to be a learning curve from Photoshop to this site, which is probably not going to be the, the most used Photoshop for sure. If you guys have it, um, but if you guys don't have Photoshop and then later on you go ahead and get into Photoshop and or you're watching a video of it. Uh, of something in Photoshop, like a tutorial and whatnot, it's gonna be super easy to pick up because it's so it's so similar to where it's gonna be super easy for you guys to understand what's kind of happening, right? So uh, before I, I I don't know what if I said it before, but before I end up getting going, making sure that you're in full screen mode is gonna help you guys out if you're using any shortcuts. So one of the most used shortcuts ever is the free transform, which is Control T, right? So press Control T. Um, if you're, it's gonna actually throw up your browser's. Uh, how do you say the the browser? Uh, shortcut itself right so it's not specifying so it's gonna say hey this shortcuts for the browser itself but if you're in full screen mode and we'll go to a new project <clears throat> so they do have these little fun little cute super tacky whenever you use them um, templates and stuff like that I'm also just gonna use a simple I'm gonna use a, their Twitter higher dimensions which is 1500 by 500 ours is 3000 by 1000 but I'm gonna keep the file size as short as possible just in case there's like some weird memory leaks I haven't personally found any I also personally haven't really went through the whole depths of this site like I said before, it's just something I thought found really cool a couple months ago. Um, I just forgot to do a video of it. So I'm gonna click over here. We're just gonna press create, right? Okay, there's the little thing here. I'm just gonna quickly make a new layer and I'm just gonna make a brush and I'm gonna make a red brush and try to free transform now that I have the, uh, we're in full screen mode, control T. As you can see, free transform finally does work. I believe if you right click, there is no flip horizontal. So what you're gonna have to do is I believe if you go into uh, the movement tool, and then you use this. Is this how you flip? Or I don't know. Is it like is that a thing? Or do you have to go to image adjustments, uh, transform, flip horizontal? Does that work? I don't know if this works or if it also flips the background. So that's just one of those things. I'm gonna just quickly try this again. We're gonna put that on the background. I want to only flip this layer here. Does that work? Let's see. It doesn't. Shit. <laughs> I guess it's one of those things you gotta like figure out. Mostly you have to just kind of control T and kind of like do this, which is going to be super hard, but as long as you're moving, um, how do you say this angle right here, whatever this angle is moving, whatever angle this is moving here when you click on this. So I believe it is, I believe it's this one right here. So you maybe do like negative 100. Does it actually, yeah, there you, there you go. So that flips it. So it's a learning thing for me too. So I think that works. So if you're ever trying to flip horizontal, maybe just do that. What I just did right there. Um, Cool, I'm glad that works. We, I just figured something out with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna quickly just go ahead and choose a nice little color. I'm gonna, like I said, recreate uh, what I did previously. <clears throat> We're gonna choose like a nice little dark blue. Alt backspace does automatically quick fill things in, which is pretty cool. Also control U, also does use the hue and saturation, brings up the hue and saturation table, excuse me, which I find that pretty freaking awesome because I use that quite a lot. Um, color I press okay. This is probably gonna be no reason for me to ever use this ever again in my personal uh, existence, but who the hell knows if, I, if I'm like not near a, a computer that has Photoshop on it and I can just quickly just make a thumbnail from someone's like random ass computer who just, you know what I mean? Or if I'm at a library or something like that. No idea, but I can guarantee you in the future, this is gonna come in handy for someone. Um, I also tried the mobile version of this. It's not really scaled through mobile app itself, but I mean, if you're super patient, I'm not. Uh, it definitely does work. It definitely could work. Um, I'm gonna make this white now. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a brush here, <clears throat> a brush tool, and I'm gonna make this little size. So the size only goes to about a thousand, but I believe personally, I, I think a thousand scales with the dimension itself. So a thousand is actually not as small as a circle actually seems to be. If you click once, you can see that's actually fairly uh, a fairly big size. So I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say like 900 or so or eight, whatever, like around 900. Hardness at zero. With a light, nice little white brush. Click on the bottom here. It's gonna give me that nice little focus light that if I put it on normal, so uh, change it from normal to overlay, that'll make me a nice little kind of like a nice little glowy kind of background, which I think looks pretty cool. So a couple cool little things that I want to show you guys as well is if you guys wanted to use brushes, 
No, if you guys know, .abr files are the same brush files that you use for Photoshop. So if you guys want to open those up, if I go to open.abr, there's a thing that you guys can do. You can open up .abr files. So if I want to say, hey, I like SESOHQ's brush pack. I want to start using it for some of my stuff, but I don't have Photoshop. Now, if you guys want to go to the site and say you want to purchase it, <laughs> totally not self-plugging super hard right now, but if you guys wanted to, right, a line update, press open. Excuse me, press open. There we go. It's going to say loading. <clears throat> so if I go back into the brushes here and I scroll down, you'll see that the brushes are now in the actual, uh, the web app itself. I, I, if you, there was no way if I was selling you on this, if that alone doesn't, like, I'm confused. That I think that's the coolest thing ever, that you guys didn't use brushes in, like, the web app. I don't know, for, for me, when I just found that out, I was just like, all right, it's fucking awesome, in my opinion. Um, also, what I think is pretty cool is uh, you can also load in fonts. So if you guys wanted to, you guys, you're, I'm going to go to my little best free font pack from before that I did previously. If you guys want to load in, like, Potia, I can load that in. You'll see that it says right up top, that it's been loaded in. So if you want to quickly find it, you can see it's here. You can click on it, and now you can be able to use it. So I find, I find all that... Pretty freaking cool. So if I just want to type in Arame, open that up. If I type in Arame here now, Aram, Aram, there we go. So now the Arame font's in there as well. So all that for me personally, I think that's pretty freaking cool. I don't know why I accidentally duplicated this layer. Um, but yeah, so brushes and fonts pretty much work on the web app itself. So personally, right off the bat, that's a win for me. Um, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and just type that in really quick. I'm going to type in, I'll leave the word that I had in the beginning of the video was simplistic. What other word could it honestly be? Um, simplistic. I don't know. This has to be my favorite word ever. For, I don't know when the first time I used this word, but I remember the first time I heard the word, and I was like, that is the coolest shit ever. <laughs> and I just stu I stuck with it. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so it does have guidelines. So you can see those little red marks. Uh, from my honest judgment, I would say that these red marks are fairly accurate to the middle of the actual document size, which is a damn win in my opinion. Alright, so that does not work if they actually highlight it. Okay make it white okay okay so i believe alt and dragging does work so that is pretty cool so all the the shortcuts in photoshop that you want to alt drag and, and kind of make a duplicate that does work so i found that pretty cool and i'm sure if you guys wanted to go ahead and use <coughs> dragging to a new page that also works and or press ctrl j that also works so i find that all pretty freaking cool all right so i'm gonna type in uh excuse me uh free photoshop alt Cool. And I'll just take the size, drop this down. I forgot I gotta highlight it. So there's one thing, everything is very specific, which is, it makes sense. You know what I mean? You wanna be, it wants it to be as specific as possible. That way it gets uh, the job done you, the way you want it the first time, kind of thing, right? So looks pretty good there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do that little thing that I did before, which is like the, I kind of like the signature little um, Aurora effect kind of thing, just because it's very easy, very simple. And I think it shows off the program enough for me to be like, all right, I'm done. Your boy's voice is fucking gone um ellipse select here so i'm gonna click it in the middle somewhere in the middle so there are rulers by the way control r also does bring them up it's pretty freaking cool if i just drag in hold on let me see how do i uh let's see okay so there's no snapping feature so you have to be you have to like kind of like guess where the middle is but as long as you're somewhere close i'm gonna say like that's pretty cool control h does also still hide them okay um so new layer anyway I'll use this little fake, uh, not accurate middle. Uh, I'm just gonna hold Alt. By the way, if, once you hold Alt with the ellipse select here, it'll keep the just just like Photoshop, keep whatever you have selected in that same position. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this up now. So usually inside Photoshop, what I would like to do is I'm moving this a lot. Jesus, what I would like to do is this is not good enough in my opinion. This needs to be like this, <laughs> a little longer, something like this. Okay. There we go. A little better. Um, so usually in Photoshop, what you end up doing is right click and then select the inverse, but you can't do that. So you're going to be very specific. You got to go to like image uh, and then go to, or is it layer? Is it layer? Select inverse. There we go. Or control shift I. Okay. You can still do that. So there you go. You select inverse. That pretty much works. And so now what I want to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to, I believe I'm going to click a nice little darker color. So by the way, even though you can't really see that there's an eyedropper tool, if I do click around, there is uh oops, I just moved the, the canvas itself though, but there is an eyedropper selection. So if you do click on the canvas, when you do have a color picker up, there is still that little eyedropper tool that ends up being there. So I'm press okay. Now where the hell did it go? Okay. Here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead now, take my brush, 
right? We're gonna take a simple normal brush, right? Click over here. Um, go over here, make it a nice simple, fairly big size. Let's say like uh, 800 or so, zero hardness. So pretty much you guys know this before. If you guys kind of take, it almost it's almost like a little Aurora kind of indention effect. So you want to stay pretty far away. I'm gonna make this a little more smaller of a size. You want to stay pretty far away. You don't want to be up close like this because you're gonna be you're basically painting the selection that we made right here. You want to stay pretty far away and kind of do this very nice little stroke sort of kind of like a very very modest clicks and whatnot, right? Control D to deselect. That does still work. Okay. And yeah, there you go. Kind of kind of fades in. Looks more like an indention. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna make this completely black. Does that, yeah, that way, way better. Or not completely, I'll say like right about there. Press okay. So now I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna press alt, drag this down and make another one. Okay, I think it looks pretty cool. So this is like one of those like go-to things that I used to do in the, in the the back in the day and or I've used a lot of times in my uh, videos. So I'm just gonna do it again because I think it looks pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do now is what I'll actually try to do is I'll try to do what I did in this video right here. Um. Right here, I'll try to do this really quickly. So I believe the, most of the things, like I said, like you probably be able to do. I'm looking at my videos right now. Honestly, I can definitely say for a fact, besides like maybe the the, the pattern inventions in this site right here, because I believe there's since there's no fill area, I know there is like a um like a pattern fill. If you guys go to like layer, because I believe it's in Photoshop, so it should be in here as well. Yeah, there's a pattern fill. So I don't know if that's gonna work the same exact way, but. If you guys know what I mean, if you guys don't, forget it kind of thing. But I'm looking at right now, there's probably a lot of the things you can still do in my videos that is going to still be able to work for you guys out and, and still look pretty cool, right? So I'm going to quickly do I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to use a pen tool. Let's show the pen tool out. P in your keyboard does work. Okay. Uh, fill stroke size. Uh, so I'm guessing it's kind of like illustrated where it's going to be like, it's just going to, oops, shape. Path pixels. Oof. Uh, was I clicked on shape? Uh, hold on. Okay. Pen tool. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's no, um, how do you say? There's no secondary, there's no, like, points you can see unless I press control H. Oh, I see. I, I hid the ruler, so it's hiding also the markers. So that's actually the same as Photoshop if you do that. Okay. So let me try that again now. I'm going to do this, do this again. And what I'll do is I'll just try to make it right here click click drag okay it's not bad it's pretty cool but I don't think you'll be able to move will you be able to move singly is there like a uh, is there a direct select let me if I click there all right so there's no path select okay so a if I click on the shape now maybe maybe direct select there we go. So direct select will help you move the path themselves. So you can't hold control and move them, unfortunately. You have to actually do it through the actual tools itself. So it's whatever. I think that's still pretty cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rasterize this layer style because I know for sure there's gonna be problems. Double click on this. We're gonna go to gradient overlay and we're just gonna use like an, like an orange. Why not? Let's do like an orange. Uh, uh, so like pretty here. Here's pretty good. And like another one, a little more darker. And something like this press ok press ok press ok okay now it's there so now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer and I believe I saw, I did this on an accident if I hold alt and click the layer it makes a, a, a automatically clip masking clipping masks it so also it's right here as well okay okay so I'm gonna make pen tool again let's do this one more time and then go around right can I actually change this while this is still open I could all right so now it's white I'm gonna rasterize it. I also just realized it's not on that shape, so I'm just gonna delete that one and then alt click to put it on a clip mask here. Okay, that doesn't work, so I have to rasterize this. I'll convert to a smart convert to a smart object. Wait, so I think this if I double click what? Alright, so this thing has smart objects too. That's super cool. I think that's super super fucking cool. What the hell? Alright. Um by the way, like I said, I literally never used this before. So we're definitely together. We're doing this together. Smart objects, so I believe this is also that has layer masking. Okay, um, <sighs> I can already tell this is gonna happen. So if I use my brush, if I want to erase it, it won't erase completely, will it? So no matter what I do, you see how it's still right there. You see that line right there is still there. And I can tell because of this how it switched the colors. It switched it to my the value picker. So basically, what this is telling me is if I if you don't have the value 
all the way to a black or all the way to a white to erase or end or fill in, it's not going to give you the, it's, think of it as like an opacity meter. So white being at zero, which is also going to add if you guys wanted to, if you guys know about it, if you guys know how layer masks works, white on a white canvas here will fill in, black on a white little canvas here will erase. So think of this as a zero and this is as 100. So if you want to erase it completely, you're going to have to make it black. And yes, I am correct there. All right. Um, I only knew that because of one time I had Photoshop be a little of a glitch and I had to use this from a, I had to use that little thought process, um, a couple times actually. So that's pretty cool that that came up because I, I recognize that. Um, so basically, like I said, basically, let's say if I want to race completely, then I use like this value here. Okay. And I'll take my brush size and we'll erase it like so. Uh, it's not erasing. It's not, I didn't erase it on this. I want to erase it on this. There we go. And maybe a little bit smaller as well to get kind of like close, super close to this. Make it a little bit more darker so it erases a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Like, geez. Okay. All right. It's kind of. It's a little awkward. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little awkward. Um, maybe what I should just do is just make it completely black and then make this a little bit more bigger and then try to go like this. Okay, so let's try that. And I'm gonna rasterize this. Can I rasterize this? Uh, or convert to a smart object and then make, put it on blend mode overlay again so that way it only shows this. Okay, so it doesn't do that. All right, so this is a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird there, but I think it still works out. If I wanna just kind of duplicate it like this, I can still do something like that, but this looks pretty cool. It still shows that little, that cool little stuff here. So I believe Control G to group things together still works. It does. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this to a smart object because I can already tell it's gonna give me problems. So what I have to do, like I said before, or I don't know if that was this, uh, this, this go or whatever. But if I press Control T, so you can't free transform through uh just doing this. If you try to flip horizontally, it flips the entire image. So I remember doing back in the past is if you guys move this little right hand side here so we want to flip it on this side if you see that this number here is one that's changing so if i just wanted to go ahead and say hey you see how it's at positive 100 i'm gonna go in the front of it put a negative in front of it press enter and ta-da there's your flipping vertically and obviously if you want to flip the other way you just move the other number in the middle not the not the other number this the y axis all right and there we go now we have a little flipping there all right that's pretty cool um Honestly, I'm personally gonna stop here. I'm just trying to like show you guys something more or less. It's not really a video on how to actually create something, but to me personally, also, if you guys are wondering why mine looks blue, it's because I did the uh, uh, more theme and I use iron blue. I thought this was pretty freaking cool. You can use like silver. Uh, here's the black version. Um, Snow white, way too hard on my eyes. I would never use this, by the way, unless you're working with something that's gonna be on a white background. I'd definitely say that's not a bad idea then. But um, yeah, overall, personally for me, I just want to show you guys this because I think it's really, really cool, really dope. Like I said, it's going to help you guys out if you guys don't want to use like a crack Photoshop, whatever. Uh, once again, not sponsored. Promise you guys, uh, it's just all love and just me trying to just do a, a fairly, honestly, easy video for me. I was like, this is a perfect freaking time to remind me about this because your boy has been sick and I haven't been really designing much, honestly. And I've been, you know, just, just fucking in my bed, just body aching, bro. Um, fortunately today I woke up a little bit, feeling a little bit better, but still not enough to go ahead and hang out with the family the house they're doing right now. Um, anyway, that's enough for me, a little update for me today, but that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video today. Like I said, if you guys end up using this, uh, Photo P, I don't know, they do have a, um, a premium version. I don't really understand why you would want to. Oh, wait, before I do that, file, save as PNG, okay, click, ta-da, look at that. So basically, if you want to show your friends, be like, yo, bro, here's the PNG version. Um, this is this is it right here. How cool is that? It's literally, even the smart objects still work. That has to be the, one of the coolest things. Like, and I mean that. How cool is that? God, that just, that to me, enough. That's enough. That's enough for me. Um, all right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Siso HQ out. Time to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Um, later. That's going to be it for me. Um, yeah, just, yeah. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I'm totally, I'm dead inside. Bye. I love you.